this is Karen from Cardio Golf, and this is my husband, Dan Jansen. You might remember Dan. He is an Olympic gold medalist, and now he's a personal trainer, and obviously he likes, he likes to stay really fit. And I want to show you a couple of things that you can do on the Cardio Golf slope. They're not specifically for golf, but they're great for golfers because it's going to help stretch you out. So Dan's going to help me with this. So we're using the Cardio Golf slope, and Dan's just going to get down on the ground right here, and then... What you're going to try to do here is bend that top, bottom leg and then extend that top leg right here and then use your arm as a pillow and then just take this top arm and then you're going to go ahead and stretch out and we're going to hold this stretch for about 30 seconds right here. So a couple of things, if you want to help your partner out, this is a really great stretch. You just, you just hold right here where their hip is and then gently push where their um, shoulder is and then you can stretch them out and it's a really nice stretch. Do you feel that, Dan? So it's really good, it's gonna stretch out those obliques, those hip flexors, make nice, long, lean muscles, which are great for golf. So we're just holding the stretch, and it just really uh, feels good. All right, from here, this is a really good stretch. I'm just gonna have Dan twist and have him face the ground with his chest, and then reach his arms really long. Again, if you wanna help your partner, you can just um, go ahead and hold on from the bottom of the shoulder blade and then just stretch down the side right here and you should feel a nice little stretch right there. You're just trying to hold the stretch and breathe. So when you're doing static stretches, you want to try to hold them for at least 30 seconds. That's the amount of time it takes to uh, release the muscle. And you're just holding right here. Good. I'm also getting a little bit of a workout right here because I'm really trying to help stretch Dan's obliques and his back out right here. Great. And then from here, if he wants to modify, just put one hand on the side here and the other here. And then you're just trying to reach the crown of your head and reach your heart towards the sky. Good. And just breathe. Inhale and then exhale. So really nice stretch right here. That's if you're a golfer, this is great for your golf swing because this is the same motion that we do in the golf swing. You turn your upper body separately from your lower body. All right, from here, so you're just gonna unwind and twist out of this. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So bend that bottom leg, extend that top one, use your arm as a pillow, and then just go ahead and we're just doing a sideline stretch. Again, I'm just holding right here at the bottom of his rib cage, and then I'm just extending my hands up here and just trying to get a nice little stretch in those obliques. It's a really nice stretch. So um, if you're a golfer, you might have one side that's tighter than the other, and that's typical. So if that's the case, and you know what side's tighter, you wanna spend a little bit more time on that side. And then from here, go ahead and twist and reach your arms really long. And then again, you can stretch out your partner right here. It's a nice thing to do, feels good for him. Good, I'm working right here as well. Make sure you breathe as you do this. Good, hold it for about 30 seconds. You know, if you don't have a clock there, you can, you can kind of just feel how, how long to hold it when you feel your muscles release. And then go ahead and do that modified low cobra, one hand on either side, and then really reach the crown of your head and your chest towards the sky. Get nice separation. If you did this, if you did this every day, this would really help your golf swing. So check out more tips on cardiogolf.com.